Hey guys, so Crestlaw here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the origami, um, cootie catcher thing. It makes, it makes a game. I tried to see what, what dream will come true, and as you look in the inside, you can curse someone, you can make a crush like you. I'm trying to open this. Bless someone. Wish for something. And you will choose a number or whatever, and I will either say yes or no. So, yeah. Maybe in the comments you can play this little game with me. But what dream will come true? And so, let's get to making the origami. Alright. The first little thing you need to do to make the cookie is you're going to need a piece of paper. I'm going to make a square one, which is technically the only one you can make. I don't think anyone can mess it up. And rectangle cootie catcher. You're going to need some scissors if you don't have any square paper. I think you all know how to use scissors. If you're not allowed to use scissors, just ask them that. And there's a little help with this part. Alright, so I'm making these small cootie catchers today. I don't really have any real square paper. So, first thing you need to do fold this in half like that. And if you have any extra, paper area on this side, which I don't, I cut it perfectly, you would have to cut that off. And the next part, you unfold it, so you have a little diagonal line, then you're going to fold it in half, and try to make sure these corners are right. Now remember to crease it really, really good, otherwise it might not work as well. Remember, this is an origami, so if you are not very good at origamis, this is a simple one to do. You need to fold it in half, unfold it, fold it the opposite direction, and then you should have your paper looking like that with that many creases. Next, you're going to need to fold in all the corners. You can take these apart and refold them, but they always come out more crumbly. You're going to flip it over, bring up those triangles again. I'm sorry for that, it's like not too well. And then you have to bring all those triangles up. It's taking me a while to figure out how to make a pretty catcher. I kind of just figured out today, and so I just wanted to share it. Then it should look like that. Oh goodness, that corner isn't folded in all the way, and there's that one. Let me get that fixed right now. And that's how you do something. Right then. I'm going to flip this over. This is the confusing part. We're going to fold the corner in so it looks like that. You can see two little flaps of paper. And you're going to do that kind of like how you did the um, first folding part of the cootie patches. Over. 
then it should look like this, and it should look be, be tiny if you're making the tiny cootie catcher. But here's the kind of tricky part to this. You need to fold it in half and see that little pocket. Put two of your fingers in there. And two in the other little pocket. Kind of. And kind of do this to it. So it kind of does that. Then strap in your fingers in all the little pockets. And prop it up. And ta-da! You got a little cootie catcher. I know mine's not very even with the creases and everything. But it's a cootie catcher. I hope you like this little tutorial on how to make some origami, but if you would like to see me do more origami, please um, tell me in the description below. And if you think there's any cool origamis that I should tell people how to do, please put those in the comments. And I will see you all next time, and goodbye!